Hey guys, it's Miss Lily again. Um, we're still talking about in behavior, um, but now we're going to look at in behavior as it approaches a certain point. So in the last video, we looked at in behavior and it was always going to positive or negative infinity. Now we're going to look at it if it approaches a certain point. So as x moves towards a positive infinity and negative infinity, it is possible for f of x to be approaching a certain value. Okay, describe the end behavior of the graph to the right. Okay, so if we look at the graph to the right, if I go from left to right, this um, line here is approaching this line. So that's at negative 1. If I look at this line, it is also approaching that same line. So it's going up towards negative 1 and it's going down here towards negative 1. So we can say that as x approaches infinity, f of x, so what is y doing? y, remember, is our vertical axis here. y is going towards negative 1. All right, so as x goes to the left, it's doing the same thing. So both of these are approaching negative 1. So again, as um, you go towards negative infinity, my y value is going towards negative 1. And positive infinity, it's also going towards negative 1. Okay? All right, so let's look at a couple examples here. To describe the end behavior of each graph. So number 10, you can see... Um, that line there. So we're still going to write as x approaches infinity and as x approaches negative infinity. We're always going to positive infinity and we're always going left, so negative infinity. So we're always going to the left and to the right. And then we're going to look and say what does f of x do as it goes to the right. Okay, so what happens as x goes towards positive infinity? It's getting very close um, to y is uh, 0. So we're going to say it approaches 0. And as it goes to the left towards negative infinity, it's also approaching that same line. So that's going to be 0 as well. Okay, all right, look at number 11. As x approaches infinity, and as x approaches negative infinity, what does y do? Or what does f of x do? Okay? Alright, so, as x goes towards positive infinity, it's approaching some line here. So, 1, 2, 3. You can see that it's getting closer and closer and closer there to negative 3. So our y value, again, if you start at 0 and count down, and then you scroll over, it's getting very close to that point. Okay, as x approaches negative infinity, okay, so as we're going this direction, I'm going to look at this graph and say it's also approaching that same line. Okay, so it's going to also approach negative infinity. Okay? Alright, just to save space on here, we know that x is going to approach infinity, x is going to approach negative infinity, so what does f of x do? Alright, so as x approaches infinity, okay, this line is going to approach some value. And if I come over here, it looks like it's approaching that line right there. So if you look from the origin, that's up 2. So y is going to approach 2. All right, if I go in the other direction, if I go to the left, this is going to approach 2 as well. Now, do they always approach the same number? No. In these three examples, they did but they don't always necessarily have to approach the same thing, okay? So let's look at three more examples, and hopefully we'll have at least one that approaches two different values. All right, for 13, 
we're going to say as x approaches infinity and x approaches negative infinity, what does f of x do? What does f of x do? Okay, so basically we're looking at um, our right side of the graph, our left side of the graph, and is it going up or down in each case? Okay, all right, so as x approaches positive infinity, this line here is approaching this line here, which is negative 2. If you trace that back over here, that's 2 down from the origin, okay? Um, all right, as this one's going up and down, it's really approaching a point on the x-axis in both directions, so that's really not going towards infinity or negative infinity. So we're only going to look at this line here, and we're going to say that this one is going towards negative infinity, and it's also approaching this negative 2 here, okay? So negative 2. All right. Some people think this is difficult at first, but usually after they get the hang of it, they really like it because they think it's not too hard. You just have to get used to the symbolism and learn new symbols and make sure you understand what those symbols mean. Okay? All right, so number 14. If we look at the graph, what does 14 do as x goes towards positive infinity? Again, it's getting very close to zero. This one's doing the same thing as it goes to negative infinity. That graph is getting very close to zero. All right, number 15. As x approaches infinity and x approaches negative infinity, what does my y value do? All right, so as x goes to the positive side, this is going to approach some y value that goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you look, it goes down. Can't draw my dots in a straight line, but it goes down to negative 5, and it kind of approaches that line there. Okay, now negative infinity. This side of the graph is going left, that's negative infinity, but it's not approaching negative 5, so this time it's going to approach something different. Okay, so what is it going to approach? My y values are going up infinitely, so it's going to go to positive infinity. Okay, all right, again, this is the second part of in behavior. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon.